How's it going, guys? I figured since there's probably a whole lot of new people playing days, that I should make a video on how to be successful as a new spawn in this game. Um, the first thing you want to make sure you know is where you are spawned out on the map. And that will usually tell you in the bottom right hand corner of your screen whenever you spawn in next to your status suffix. Um, I spawned in at Pelota, and which is west of one of the main cities called Trino. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start running because there's a walk I'm gonna go, but after you find out where you're actually spawned in at, what you should do is go to a map of the days uh, continent or uh, Trinaris is the name, and find out where you are in consideration of that map. Um, below the, it's to the west of Cherno, and if you look at the coast, west is going to be to your left, and east is going to be to your right. So I know that I should be running this way. One of the things though is below the, it actually has an airfield across the across the road, and it has a little military outpost right here, that, which has a good chance for quite a few guns to spawn. And that's the first thing we're actually going to do right now, is go check out that. Um, you, whenever you first spawn and you first start playing the game, you may think that zombies are a big threat. And they can be if you don't know what you're doing. If you look at the, at the right side where you see an ear and an eyeball, that's how visible and audible you are. Uh, the higher those meters, the more likely you're going to be seen or heard by a zombie and you're going to aggro them. But honestly, Zombies are really dumb, and they actually got nerfed this patch, point, uh, 2.5, and they're really slow. Well, they're supposed to be a lot slower, but this one seems that he's not slow. But um, they can easily easily be lost by running to a building, like so. Because once they're in your inside of a building, zombies move a lot slower. They move at a walking pace, and also your vision and uh. Uh, sound you make goes down a lot. So if you run through buildings, you can lose them really easy. So they're not really that big of a threat. Um, in this airstrip, or not airstrip, this little military base right here, the weapons that you want to find are they spawn in these deer stands. And actually, here's a guy's dead body. So I'm going to take his stuff and go up. This Hopefully, get up there before I start bleeding. And I started doing that, that's fun. Because uh, you start with a bandage, so you can just bandage yourself. Um, the M24 that I picked up is a sniper apple. And it's pretty powerful, especially in the beginning. Uh, if you can tell if you zoom in, if you get hit a lot, you'll start, you'll start being in pain, and you can take painkillers. And you will uh, be fine after that. Also, if you go down be below a certain blood threshold, you will. Uh, and start feeling the same effects. Um, this Alice pack I picked up off this guy is for different types of. Sorry, I'm looking at what I got. That guy. Oh dang. Well, don't do that. Um, <laughs> rule number one. It's okay. I'm just picking up this shotgun. Rule number one is <laughs> make sure you have enough room in your. Don't have ammo for it. Make sure you have room in your backpack. See, I had six slots. A gun takes up eight, I want to say eight, but I want to say nine slots, and it's glitched at the moment where if you try to put a gun or anything that's bigger than one slot in your backpack with zero slot, or with less slots than you need, it will, <laughs> it will uh, delete the item, which is what happened to that sniper rifle on ammo. So uh, now, that sniper rifle is now lost. Which isn't too bad because I'm lucky I got this shotgun from here. So I'm going to try to go back. I'm going to try to pop off some shots of these guys. Yeah. This shotgun is really loud though. Which is bad because it attracts a lot of unwanted attention from zombies and other players. So I'm just going to climb down this ladder now because I think there's, I think there's only one other zombie down here. Because there's a couple. This is probably going to hit him again. Take them out real quick. I think.
think we're good. We didn't attract any other zombies that we didn't want to attract. I'm gonna lo finish looting this guy's body. Four bandages, which is good. Painkillers, binoculars, watch. Uh, don't really need a flashlight, military flashlight. This is dumb. This guy has another slug on him, which is what I use in my weapon. Tin can. And a bandage. Um, to the loot bodies, if you look at a body, you can scroll your mouse scroll. And if you see a double arrow around your gun, that means there's something on that body. If not, if you just see a regular gun like that with the three ammo under it, then that just means that there's nothing there that you can use. So I'm going to run over here. Kill that zombie. Okay. Kill that zombie. with this ladder and check out what's up here. And there's an AKM, which is, oh, and a, let's see, G17 with no ammo, which isn't bad, but this AKM is what I really want. AKMs are really good because not only are there, can they go between full and semi, they can also be zeroed in. With zeroing in is, let's say, if um looking at that lot, pole, that lot post, it's probably about 50 meters from me, so I would zero into 100, and it's not a really good example for that lot post. Let's say this zombie, this zombie is about 10 meters away, so I'd zero in at 100, and he's so close I can just shoot him and shoot him. But if that zombie over there, oh, these zombies over here that are just respawning? If, okay. If they were, say, 100 meters away, or 150 meters away, if this zombie was 150 to 50 meters away, I would zero in at 100 and then aim up a little bit because the bullet dropped. No, I'm aggroing a lot more zombies than I want to aggro by showing how to shoot. So, give me one second, I'm just gonna pop these zombies off. I don't want to fall off there because I'll break my leg and die. Stuck under the first person. Okay. Now I want to get out of here because I'm making a lot of noise, and players are going to hear that and come here because this is a highly. Uh, people come here a lot. So I think I have what I need, so I can just get out of here real fast. Um, like I said, zombies—they're not—they will run after you across the map, but they're not. They're not too worrisome because you can either run through a forest, run through some bushes where they don't see you anymore, uh, run straight, running straight up a hill. The zombies can't run up hills, so see, I've already lost. I've lost them all just, just by doing that. So they're not that much of a threat. Um, yeah, I lost them. But if you spawn near Beloda or uh, Camo, no, not Camarobo. That's far to the east. Kamika. Kamika is also to near Belota airstrip. So you can, if you spawn there, then you're, you're in log because you can get a couple easy guns. But uh, what you really need to worry about is bag space, which I got lucky and found that guy's body with an Alice pack. The normal pack has 8 slots, the Alice pack has 24, 20. Uh, the biggest pack you can find is the Coyote pack, and it's, or Coyote backpack, and it has 24 slots. Um, you'll find that the hardest thing to find in the game is probably the backpacks. You can find anything else you need, really, just by going into any major city. Which, usually, if you're a fresh spawn and you spawn near Electro or... I got zombie on me. Zombie's on me. Um, near Electro or Cherno, then you can make a beeline straight for those cities and get everything you need. Um, I'm gonna end... Or I'll... <laughs> I'm not gonna make you watch me run Force Simulator 2012, so... I'm gonna get back to you all when I get close to Cherno. Alright, so I'm about to run into Cherno right now. Uh, took a long way to expect it. I got a little bit delayed because my, uh, my bandit skin decided to glitch and uh, delete my Alice pack. So I'm back at the regular 8 slot uh, pack, or backpack, with nothing in it. So I had to, dis I had to disconnect to try to fix it. When I connected back, <laughs> I was actually unconscious for about two minutes because sometimes that happens. I don't know why. Alpha, but it's all good. Um, right now I'm running into Cherno. 
A couple things you should know whenever you run into a main, a main city, especially Cherno. These buildings that you see, these skyscrapers, the snoppers sit on those. They can see you running from farther than I am away. And they will shoot you if you either stop, slow down, run in a straight line towards it, or if they're really good they can shoot you just from running. Your best bet is to always stray from and make it to where you don't even know which way you're going to go. So just strafe back and forth and not in a pattern. So don't go left and right, then left and right. Go left, left, right, right, and whatever. Just make it to where you don't even know what way you're going to go. Uh, the building you should first aim for, especially when you don't have a backpack, is the grocery store. Which, in Cherno, is on the southwest corner. You'll see it here in a second. Don't see it right now, but we'll see it in a second. Um, don't worry about zombies, don't slow down for zombies, because if you do, you'll get shot by a sniper. Continue, keep running back and forth. You can, you'll end up losing the zombies if they're going through a house or killing them inside of a building. The supermarket is... that's not it. It's up here though. One, yeah, one of the main things you want to make sure you do is learn where all the main buildings are that you need to be in. So I have a lot of zombie aggro on me now, but that's okay. I'm just gonna run into this. This is a supermarket. The texture is glitching because it's still an alpha. Um, doors are closed. Make sure you back up when you open doors because they'll break your legs or something. Once in here, you can either hide. Usually if you hide behind this one back here and go crouch, the zombies will... They'll it'll look like they're still coming in after you. That was, that was, that was thunder. <laughs> you hear some awfully weird noises in turn out. Um, but the zombies will come in after you, but once they get back to the shelf, they'll, I guess, lose interest, and they'll end up turning around. You just have to be patient with this. If you're safe in here, just make sure you keep looking out looking out the window. Looking in looking out the uh, back entrance or back exit out there. And if you have zombies on you, just make sure you wait. Um, something you can do for the textures is if you hold down your left shift button and press the minus sign on the numpad, it's not gonna bring up anything, but after you do that you type in flush, F L U S H and it will make your screen go black for a second. And once it comes back up, the texture will usually be fixed. Uh, something you can do to, to help fix it faster is look directly at the source of the textures fucking up. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This worked a lot for me, so. Um, once you have all the aggro gone from you, you can start looting. Make sure though you Start looking around. Make sure you don't sit in one spot. Oh my lord! For a long time, you don't really need five bandages. You need like two, maybe at the most. You really need mags though, because mags are your best friend. Uh, from right here, they can't. You could. They can see from right here. Snipers can, so be careful. Make it fast, but don't be dumb when you're looting here. Um, main things you want to really be looking for are bags, food, drink. You don't need a wood pile. This is dumb. Empty cans will be a disappointment when you find them. Binoculars are good. You need those. You shoot zombies in the head, they'll die in one shot. Manful mags, watches. You don't need those right now. Well, you can't have a watch, but... Watch, don't need that, I already have one. Uh, double barrel shotguns are shit. <laughs> oh, I'm lucky, there's an Alice back in here. The zombie's glitched. He's dead now. Take Alice back. Make sure when you switch out backpacks, you open your old backpack. And get the stuff that was in it out and put it in your backpack. You can either use the arrows to put stuff in your inventory, you can just double click it. 
Um, pistol, don't need that right now, I got one. Coca-Cola, definitely need that. Uh, the bottom right, like I said, you have your meters. Uh, the top one is temperature, which you can raise it by... Make sure you close doors, by the way. I'll help you out. Uh, you can raise your temperature by taking, using heat packs. Yeah, I think this is pushed again. Yes. This is the second time that has happened. I'm not sure why that happens, but <laughs> uh, yeah, I just lost that again. I really don't know why that happens. Um, ever since I've updated to 1.7.5 or 0.2.5, it's been glitchy. Don't worry. But, you know, can't really get too mad about it because it is an alpha. But it's, it is kind of disappointing whenever you get an Alice pack twice in a row and you lose it because of glitches. It's because of the bandit skin. The bandit skin is a glitch at the moment. Uh, but anyways, we're done in the supermarket. The next thing you want to do is run. Don't walk, run. There's a building right here called the fire station. The fire station has, oh my lord, has a lot of good military grade weapons. Like I'm pretty sure there's a couple different weapons that can spawn inside the firehouse. So we're gonna go in there and see if we can get something better than AKM. Because the AKM is probably the best gun that you can find at this level. So I'm pretty, go I'm pretty good. Off I'm off to a pretty good start. Close the door so you, can't get s you won't get snopped down on the bottom level. Uh, AK-74, but there's no ammo, so I'm not going to take that. Bandages. A PDW, which is, yeah, it's a secondary submachine gun. But the only reason, the only time I would use that if it was, if it was silence. This is really loud. Make sure when you go up these steps, you don't stop. You look on the ground, and you don't stop. Because I'm stopping just because this is a low pop server. Also, if you are new to the game, you should play on low pop publish servers, just so that you have less luck, you have less of a chance to run into hackers, and uh, snipers. Just find stuff, find these items. Don't need that. Because the reason I'm saying to be fast is because that building people can stay on top of and snap. That building they can stay on top of and snap. And this building they can stay on top of and snap. And you don't really want to get snapped because it's not too fun. But there's nothing up here. Really. <laughs> there's nothing that we really need up here. We got a couple of cokes and a couple, a little bit of ammo, but we're not hurrying down here because this is a uh, I how you can't spot it, because people know that you're going to be going here. The next place you kind of want to run to is the hospital, which in Cherno there are two different hospitals. There's one that's directly to the east of me, so that way, it's about, it's about that way, northeast. And then there's one that's to the north that way of me. The one to the north is usually a light. Uh, no, the one to the east is usually a lot easier to get to, because the one to the north, you can see it from, uh, Snobbery can see it from the hill. So it's really a lot more risky. And there's apartments there, which actually have a lot of good stuff in them. So we're actually going to go to the northern one. That building is a freaking sniper nest. Like, snipers sit there all the time. So you want to watch out for that building. They can't really see me from where I am right here, but yeah. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to run up north to the hospital and the apartments and check those out. Because you need gear, you need uh, bandages for when you start bleeding, you need morphine for when, here's the hospital. You need morphine for when you break a leg, you need epipens for if you or someone else has passed out. Um, blood bags for blood transfusions on other people because you can't give yourself a blood transfusion, which I honestly think is dumb, but you know, whatever. Um, these glass doors are going to be your, wor your worst enemy. Whenever you shoot them out, that door right there. 
the doors that you can go in, or the doors, like the sliding doors, and you shoot the left door out. That's the best way to do it. There's a camping tent in here. Nothing in it. That's weird. But you'll find these boxes right here. And inside of them you'll find bandages, painkillers. Don't need any of those right now. These, this is morphine. These right here are morphine. These, you use these whenever you break a leg or break a bone to heal yourself. Um, bandages, morphine, bandages, painkillers. Usually every hospital has one box that has uh, like 10 of everything in it. And I want to show you that. Oh, my lord, it's on the Whenever you start having to uh, fire a lot, you want to start moving faster because you're going to start aggroing yeah, the zombies and players. One shot aggroes. This is like a dinner bowl. One shot just aggroes every one of them. Uh, this might be the box? No, this isn't. Oh, EpiPen. I've already went over EpiPens. They uh, wake you up and be knocked out. Um, you can also find the boxes behind. Usually there's one behind, beside this ladder. There's not. We're going to risk. Usually you don't want to do this. Usually you don't want to go on top of roofs. Especially when you don't uh, have much to defend yourself against snipers. But I'm going to just because this is a low pop server and I want to show you what one of these boxes looks like. It looks the same as, well, there's no one up here. Um, the boxes look the same as all the other boxes, but it just has, I think, 10 bandages. Come on. I think I just heard fire. Gunshot. Um, it usually has 10 bandages and 5 of everything else. So if you find one of those, it's Suck up. Um, pretty much after you get all this, your basic items, food, you get food and drink from apartments like this, like uh, the one across the street. Shoot. Okay. Apartments like these. I think they're all. I think they're office buildings actually. They're not apartments. They're office buildings. But you get uh, usually generic items from pla these places. Uh, ammo. You get food, drinks, food and drinks, and pack like usually uh, backpacks from uh, the store, the supermarkets. Uh, ammo, guns from fire station. What is this? Is this a ghost suit? No, it's a way of clothing. Uh, I thought I got lucky there for a second. Found ghost suit. You can use. You can sometimes find ghost suits in the office buildings and residential areas. I didn't get lucky this time, but this is actually looks like a pretty shitty. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Box, uh, box of matches, those are good. Um, I'll go over that in a different video. But pretty much all you need to find in your first city is items like a new backpack, a basic gun, and, ha and handgun, assault arm. Um, if you're lucky, you'll find matches, a hunting knife, and a hatchet, which used together, you use the hatchet to cut down trees, get wood, and then you set down fire to make you make a fireplace out of that, and you kill animals and cut and gut them with the knife, and then you can make meat. And like cooked meat is the most efficient way of killing yourself because it gives you 800 health or blood compared to. Two to four hundred, I think two hundred from a uh, can of sardines and can of beans and stuff. And uh, it's heals you for the most. Yeah, it heals you for the most. Um, it also makes your hunger or gives you hunger or feeds you more than sardines does and everything. But after you get that, you can either you know do more of PvP and run around Cherno trying to find people to kill. Or you can run up north and go into the forest and try to find uh, crash helicopters, which drop the most 
uh, military gear like AS50, sniper rifles, uh, thermal L85s, uh, FN fouls, ghillie suits. And I think you get coyote. I'm pretty sure you get coyote packs from military installations like the barracks at the airfield. But if you're new to get new to the game, I would advise you not to go to one of the airfields, unless it's Belota. Belota is usually a pretty empty airfield, but Northwest Airfield, that is camped by snipers every day. You're better off not even going there until you have your own sniper rifle and you have a uh, basic understanding of how to scout and how to be successful. But uh, right now what I'm going to do is run up here real quick and see if I can find someone camping this building. Because like I said before, this is the one of the buildings that snipers camp on the most. Either this one or that one. So hopefully I'm going to find someone up here camping and trying to kill uh, newbies and I'm going to get all their stuff. Uh, the fastest way and the most fun way in my opinion to get gear, unless you want to run and play Forest Running Simulator 2012, the fastest way to get gear is going on top of one of these buildings or going out into the forest and find someone camping there with a sniper rifle, kill them and take their stuff. Um, to do that, you'll probably want to go on a higher population server. The server I'm on right now has four other people, so I'm <laughs> I'm not thinking there's anyone going to be up here, but you never know. Um, it's when I first started out, I started doing a like I wanted to just get geared up and survive as long as I can, but you're gonna die. Like there's no way you're not gonna die. You're gonna get called by somebody. Someone's gonna ghost in on you. Someone's gonna hack, hack and kill you. It's gonna happen. So the most, best thing I can tell you to do is just have fun. If you have fun killing people, that's what you should do. You shouldn't. <laughs> no one tell. No one is gonna tell you how to play the game. Yeah, people are gonna bitch at you for uh, killing other people on side or whatever you're gonna do. But actually, there's a survivor over there. Um, I don't have a rangefinder, so I don't know how far away that is, but I think it's about 200 meters, so I'm going to zero into 200 meters, and when this person walks out that door, then I'm going to shoot them. If they walk out that door. It's really odd that I'm finding another survivor in Cherno when there's four people on the server besides me. Is that there? Did he go out the back door? He went out the back door. Oh, I think I hit him. In the dark. Get my binoculars out. Uh, got away. I think they came back to the gate. The little wall there. I'm watching the chat to see if I actually get a murder. What was that? Was that here? Oh yeah, that's her. She's shooting. She's behind that little outhouse. Oh, she's dead. No, that won't be a zombie. She probably passed out. Run down there and see. Oh, yep. I don't think I got the kill. I think a zombie got it, but that person is definitely dead now. Oh, I didn't. I think I did get the kill. I lost humanity. It didn't give me a murder, but I lost humanity. Maybe because I shot at him. See, I'll probably get flamed for shooting at that person because. <laughs> uh, I don't know what they had. And they probably they weren't really a threat to me. But you'll learn quickly that most of the people in this game they don't ask questions, they just shoot first. And you're going to survive longer if you shoot on something. It's it's the harsh truth, but it is the truth. You're going to survive longer if you shoot on shoot on sight. You're right over there. 
there and see if all these zombies are here. We run over here and see what happens. See if this person's still here. Knowing karma, I'm gonna get blasted by this guy. This boy over here waiting. Or he probably didn't die by me. Or this boy's someone different. Sometimes these buildings have backpacks on them too, the little guard houses. So just check those whenever you can also. I'm actually gonna run through the firehouse real quick just to lose these zombies. I'm hoping this person has like an Alice pack or something so I can take it. Oh yeah, I've got the back doors right over here, so that person oh. Person right. Hey, you're gonna get to see some. Yeah, this guy's a gun, so he's definitely getting shot. It's in this house, I'm gonna go around the back. Ah! Yep. Didn't even go first person. Truth of this game. People will kill you or got a hatchet in the house. Like this. I should go around the side of the pick. Zombies kill me. Oh, <laughs> she had a Mountain Dew. No wonder she got killed by me. Freaking bad luck. That's some good, uh, I think that's a good place to stop. Um, if you want to be nice to people, don't shoot them on saw like I do. You know, you don't have to shoot them on saw. Like them. But in my experience, when I tell people, they how they haven't returned the favor. They they killed me and taken my stuff. So especially when I have stuff better than them. So if you wanted to risk it and play forest running somewhere for an hour and a half and get a lot of good stuff and not shoot someone on side and you want to risk it and them shoot you on side then that's that's all up to you. But I don't risk it. And also like getting in fire pots, especially in this game, like it's the most intense thing I've ever done. Because it's just I don't need a wire fencing kid. I don't want this mod to do because it's bad luck. But it is the most intense thing I've ever done. Like it's it's amazing. I should go up here and eat this. Okay, I'm going inside this building. And that will be it for this episode. Um I will probably make more tutorials. I know this one was really long, but I think it covered most of the key topics that you should cover to help out new people. So, uh, if you like this video and you want me to continue making tutorials, let me know. And, uh, yeah, see you next time.